Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of NASA Open VSP. In this lecture, I will teach you how to import an airfoil from database using .dat file. If you have missed my previous video, how to sketch a wing different uh, platform, link is in the i button at the top and also in the description box as well. So let's get started. So first and foremost, when you hit the VSP, you get to see this launch pad. Now from here, you just need to select wing and add. You will get this kind of page by default. So you can, uh, for your better observation, you can keep a uh, fit on your screen. Now here in this default airplane, we are default wing. We are going to make use of different types of airfoil, and I will teach you that how to do that. Now for changing the airfoil, there are two ways you can do. Now when you click here, first you see here we have two sections. One is this root section, one is a tip section. So one is a tip one, and zero is a root one. Now here each and every section you can make the modification so there is a type of airfoil that you want to select starts from point circular uh, round rectangular then the six series uh, biconvex so many different varieties of airfoil you can choose in case you want to choose four digit uh, series if you want to increase the uh, camber as uh, 12% you can directly type and put enter you will get to see the change so here you cannot modify it over here by this modifying this tab you can able to change the airfoil configuration so as you can see the different uh, variants of four digit series if you want uh, all are should be symmetric accordingly you can set this bar into different if there is no cumber you can directly uh, switch them all to be zero and uh, you can see here cumber and what is the thickness now as our topic is how to import the data now there is a options called AA file so using this AA file you can able to select now as of in a default when you select this AA file you can see how actually the wing look like the cross section of the airfoil looks like something like elliptical so how you can do it now before starting and uh, use this file first you have to use this uh, website you can either use this airfoil coordinate database UIUC or you can choose airfoil tools any one of it so the basically you can use this websites to get or retrieve the coordinate points so for an example uh, here I'm going to search uh, super critical airfoil which is I have already been searched several times for my research work so super critical airfoil and keeping search and uh, let's take the first one super critical airfoil so I need to make uh, some kind of airfoil something like this so what I'm gonna do here you can see some coordinate points that file so directly you cannot save it so what you can do to save that or you can go to this UIUC directly from here so that I feel little complicated so here you can click on to this you get to see now you can directly copy this coordinates copy and launch your notepad and paste it over here directly these are the coordinate points for this particular aircraft for for this particular airfoil now go here save as uh, save as like um, 0714 SC as it defines supercritical dot DAT now save this file in the designated location once you save cancel it and launch your VSP again now you know designated file now start read uh, look into the folder where you have saved previously whatever I have saved so take any one of it both is same 
now I have changed this so I hope you can see this in there okay now I will show here so you can see the same airfoil which I have taken it from there now this is for the section 1 I have made the changes now what the modification I can do for this further in the section 1 so I can I want to use the same one now instead of going to the section 1 and select this AT file there is a one more way to do it shortcut way you can just copy go to the next and paste so you will get to have the same airfoil in the next so if you have further sections so you can just copy and go to the next and apply paste anything so both will give you the same and now you see here it is now showing as the same which you have imported now if you want this one to be inverted so you will get to see something like this so suppose this one is not inverted and this one is inverted so also the modifications you can do it so this is how you can input the structure now use shade and magnify it till the near to the edge to see the better accuracy okay okay see the accuracy now you can use to understand the better accuracy go back and say this where to make your wing in a better accurate shape what you can do see it is not completely well curved there is some straight line isn't it so what you can do is in the wear frame go and click to this bar and see here you what modification you can make there is an option called tessellation okay tessellation now this 33 number is given now that defines the number of streams or lines that you can see is 33 now what happens if you change to 100 you can see that so once you increase this number of uh, translation the accuracy of this curvature get increased now further modification you can make you can go to this uh, translation control in the leading cluster and the trailing edge cluster that means uh, how closely if you move this things are going to be connect together near the leading edge and make the well defined profile for your leading edge okay otherwise it will be equally distributed across so I think this is well enough to define for the structure you can magnify it further to see it so this is one of the control translation to make a better accuracy in your uh, wing so otherwise it will not be uniform and if the same data you are extracting and using in your 3d printing or for your demonstration purpose so you can s see the difference in it without changing the translation uh, and with changing the translations right so this is how you can import and export your wing and uh, make a sketch of your own if you have any further requested video or if you have any doubt regarding this uh, tutorial please write down in the comment box and till then to the next video stay tuned to the channel and subscribe